get ready for the dictation on the count of 3 2 1 start the indian coal allocation scam also known as coal gate was a political scandal that came to light in 2012 the scam involved the allocation of coal blocks to private companies without following the proper procedures resulting in a loss of revenue to the government the controller and auditor general of india estimated the loss to be around rupees 1.86 trillion in its report published in 2012 the allocation of coal blocks was done through a screening committee that included representatives from various government ministries the scam came to light after an investigation by the Central Bureau of Investigation into allegations of irregularities in the allocation of coal blocks. The CBI registered cases against several individuals and companies including politicians and businessmen. In 2014, the Supreme Court of India cancelled the allocation of 214 coal blocks declaring the process to be illegal and arbitrary. The court ordered the government to auction the coal blocks through a transparent and competitive bidding process. The Indian coal allocation scam was one of the biggest corruption scandals in India's history and it exposed the deep-rooted corruption in the country's political and bureaucratic systems. The scandal led to widespread public outrage and demands for greater transparency and accountability in the allocation of natural resources. The Indian coal allocation scam is a significant example of how corruption can impact a country's economic growth and development. The scam involved the allocation of coal blocks to private companies without following the proper procedures resulting in a significant loss of revenue for the government. This loss of revenue could have been used for public welfare programs such as education, healthcare and infrastructure development. The scandal also highlighted the inefficiency of the screening committee that was responsible for the allocation of coal blocks. The screening committee included representatives from various government ministries and it was supposed to ensure that the allocation process was transparent and fair. However, the committee's functioning was not transparent and it allowed companies with political connections to obtain coal blocks without proper scrutiny. The coal allocation scam also had a significant impact on the Indian economy. The Indian power sector, which is heavily reliant on coal, was affected by the cancellation of coal blocks. The cancellation disrupted the coal supply chain and led to power outages in many parts of the country. The loss of revenue from coal mining also impacted the government's ability to invest in infrastructure development and public welfare programs. The coal allocation scam had political implications as well. The ruling United Progressive Alliance government faced severe criticism from the opposition parties and civil society groups for the scam. The opposition parties used the scam to attack the government and it became a major issue during the 2014 general elections. 
the UPA government lost the elections and the new government led by the Bharatiya Janata Party promised to investigate the scam and bring the culprits to justice. The investigation into the coal allocation scam has been ongoing and several individuals and companies have been charged with corruption and criminal conspiracy. The Central Bureau of Investigation has registered cases against several politicians and bureaucrats including former coal minister Dasari Narayana Rao and former chief minister of Jharkhand Madhu Koda. The coal allocation scam also brought to light the need for greater transparency and accountability in the allocation of natural resources. The Indian government has since introduced several measures to prevent corruption in the allocation of natural resources. The government has made the allocation process more transparent and competitive by introducing e-auctions and implementing stricter rules and regulations. The coal allocation scam also highlighted the need for judicial reforms in India. The Supreme Court's intervention in the case was crucial in cancelling the allocation of coal blocks and ordering their auction through a transparent and competitive bidding process. However, the slow pace of justice and the backlog of cases in the Indian judiciary continue to be a significant challenge for the country. In conclusion, the Indian coal allocation scam was a significant corruption scandal that had far-reaching implications for India's economy and politics. The scam exposed the deep-rooted corruption in India's political and bureaucratic systems and highlighted the need for greater transparency and accountability in the allocation of natural resources. The investigation into the scam is ongoing and it is essential that the culprits are brought to justice to restore public faith in the government's ability to govern. The Indian government must continue to take steps to prevent corruption in the allocation of natural resources and work towards improving judicial reforms to ensure timely justice for all. It is crucial that the lessons learned from the coal allocation scam are implemented in the allocation of other natural resources such as minerals, oil and gas. The government must ensure that the allocation process is transparent, fair and competitive and that it benefits the country and its citizens. Only then can India achieve its goal of sustainable and inclusive economic growth.